Alrighty, it is time again for the pet of the week, and we are joined by James Bias from the Connecticut Humane Society. And we have a big fella here today. This is Tater Tot. Tater Tot. He's a, a, a Boise, Idaho potato <laughs> Tater Tot. He's, he's a good sized boy. And um, guinea pigs come in all shapes and sizes and colors. He's an Abyssinian uh, type, which has these little kind of, the coat goes different directions all okay. over his body. And then this is a brindle marking. So they come in over a dozen and a half different varieties based uh -huh. on coat type and, and then different colors. Um, the males tend to be a little bigger than the females. And Abyssinian is one of the more popular bigger guinea pigs. Gotcha. And when uh, Tater Talk came into us a little over a month ago, he wasn't very social. He wasn't used to being handled or played Aww. with. And so he went into one of our fantastic volunteer homes for almost a month mm -hmm. and got him accustomed to this where he can be petted. And he also went through some uh, medical issues. If you'll notice, he has his head tilted a little to the side. Yeah. It looks like he's looking up. But sometimes that can be a result of an inner ear infection or something. Okay. And then once treated, Usually it clears up. In his case, he will probably continue to have a little bit of a head tilt. Yeah, but um, he's still worthy of all the love. He doesn't know any better. Yeah, you know. And again, it just it makes him look like he's really checking you out when he starts, <laughs> you know, doing the head tilt. Um, you know, guinea pigs are fairly easy pets to have around. They can't be house trained, so that's the reason why I have okay. a, a towel underneath me, gotcha. so you can kind of get an idea of what's going to be coming out soon. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but they're real easy to clean up after. Yeah, um, okay. When they Good. do that, they make sure they have plenty of food. Um, yeah. He is an unneutered male, so he'll need to only be with, if he's up with other guinea pigs, other boy guinea gotcha. pigs. Gotcha, or else you'll have a little family. Exactly. Guinea pig family. And so we would love A big to, one, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they reproduce quickly. Okay. Um, so, you know, again, we want to make sure that he goes to a forever loving home and not contribute to an exploding population of guinea pigs right now yes. we're seeing in shelters all across the country. Have a whole bag of tater tots. <laughs> 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 well, uh, such a cutie. I have to say his size was like the first thing I've noticed because you've brought several guinea pigs here before and I'm like, wow, that one's big. Yeah. Um, and you let me hold this one. <laughs> yes, I, I, was a, I was a little afraid he's big, but I'm sure he's very um, loving. Yeah receptive to the love he's been loving you rubbing up on him and he's making all sorts of little noises yes. and squeals. can you guys pick it up let's see i think they can hear that what a cutie um and when they they will call out to you when you come into the room with food they yeah. have a really high-pitched uh, uh squeal that they'll give you saying, you know I what eat. yeah I wonder what time you got here because earlier we were in the main studio and I heard this loud screech. Oh, it's and probably I didn't somebody know. stepping their toe. But, you know, it might have been him. Just someone in the newsroom. It wasn't tater tot. Okay, yeah. cleared that up. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, James. You can check out tater tot and all the other animals that need their forever homes over at the Connecticut Humane Society.